In our last video, we were on the coast of Peru surfing the longest wave in the world. Surfing in Peru, baby! But we have Woo! since made it up into the mountains to the Husqvarna National Park. We're spending the next two days exploring this national park and we're starting with the most popular and most famous hike to Laguna 69. This challenging yet stunningly beautiful hike is going to take us up to 4,600 meters to see one of the most beautiful lakes we have ever seen. On day two, we are going to make our way up to Postaruli Glacier, which is at 5,000 meters. So if you're wondering why I sound a bit puffed, that's why. Max is gonna walk on a glacier for the first time in his life. Ooh, ooh. And over the next two days, we're gonna show you the best of the best in Husqvarna National Park. Woo! Good morning, beautiful people. We had these grand plans to get to the Laguna 69 hike super early today and beat the crowds. And we thought we had arranged a private transport for a pretty good deal. But when you're trying to communicate in Spanish to someone, I guess it doesn't work out that well. And now we're about to jump on a bus full of tourists and get there at the same time as everyone else. to Laguna 69 at last <laughs> three hours later finally we got to the trailhead seeing that first lake I think and the drive oh my god there's snow catch mountains this is gonna be so worth it even though you have to spend a long time getting here <sighs> we're at altitude so we're starting this hike at 3,800 meters I believe um, and the yeah. Laguna is at 4,000 200 or 300 meters so it's not too much of an altitude gain but you're already at altitude so you're going to be puffed out already but i'm so excited to be starting this hike it already looks so beautiful and amazing let's go to lagoda 69 i'm psyched it is absolutely mesmerizingly beautiful can you see this Oh my god. You can't see it right this way. Well, I can see a little bit, but just back there, snow capped mountains. Like, I feel like we spent three hours on the bus and we landed in paradise. It's amazing. <laughs> Does it get more beautiful than this? I don't think so. Easy peasy. <laughs> I mean, there hasn't been too much uphill. It's been a very light gradient, and I'm already puffing. So, easy peasy. We'll see. Previously, up until this point, our favorite hike so far has been the Kokora Valley. It also felt very fairy tale esque, but I think that this hike might take the number one spot. Oh my god, there's a glacier right there. Oh my god, that is so cool! Alright, I think this hike has slotted into number one.
it's become a much steeper hike so far so I think the next two hours although it's not gonna be much of a distance it's gonna be bloody hard Oh. Yeah, we've only done two kilometers since the last time. Shit. That doesn't sound... That doesn't feel right. Yeah, it sounds misleading, yeah. Dang it, I thought we were like maybe one and a half kilometers, maybe two kilometers away. Uh, we've done quite a bit of walking, so... Quite a surprise. Almost at 4,400 meters. And we have got a pretty fast pace. So, really puffed up. And it's raining a bit. Oh. It's definitely gone from like a nice, pretty easy hike to it's actually a challenge now, which is good. Like it's a nice, I like to be challenged. There's glaciers everywhere. Jacqueline? 2500 meters. <gasps> no wonder it's hard. It is high. I am breathing heavy. 4500 meters. That's really high. That is pretty good. Wow. Dang. The mountains around are humongous. Cap size of snow. And the mist. And the water flowing, melted, the waterfall. Oh. Alright, if this is not it, I want my money back. <gasps> oh. Wow. Oh, that blue. Oh my god. We made it. Yeah. Wow, and there's a waterfall. An epic falling waterfall. From the mountain into the lake almost from the glacier oh my god this is insane and in two hours and 30 minutes not bad one of the most insane probably mountain sites i've ever seen yeah it's up there yeah oh, oh man the sheer cliff the waterfall the bluest water Oh and the waterfall is epic. Oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, Laguna 69! Sit down and have some lunch. I'm starving. And mind that view. Gold, now that we're not hiking. Yeah. And it's raining a little. <laughs> really cold, really quickly. Well, the rain's just getting worse, so we're eating our snacks in the rain. <laughs> Got all the kind of layers of shelters we can get. It's okay, it's a bit cold, but it's at least we're prepared. It's bloody freezing. I didn't know it was going to be this cold up here. Anyway. Oh. I don't know how much longer we're going to last here. 
We got muffins, peanut butter, and blueberries. That is lux right there. I'm allowed to figure out. That is high. <laughs> and the sun's coming out a bit. Or at least the rain has stopped at least. And look at this man of a view. Spectacular spot. Rain or no rain, come for it. Oh yes, Ooh, definitely better with sun though. <laughs> Sun has come out, which has made a huge difference to the temperature. We're full now. Well, we didn't stay very long, just 45 minutes. <laughs> but, uh, but it's cold. Yeah, it's cold. Like we had rain, we had sun, and now clouds coming back in. Exceptionally beautiful. Highly recommended, guys. Considering how much we paid to come here, highly, highly worth the what? 40 bucks? 60 bucks? Um. In total was 160 sole, and that included the 30 sole per person to enter the national park, and then also the 50 sole per person for the transport. And the transport is, like we've said a few times, like three hours one way. Yeah. So. It's pretty good. And huge. they wait for you and everything. And yeah. No. Very, very much worth it. All right. Where are you? We're probably going to head back now. We won't film because you've already seen it. No way we are filming. Good morning, beautiful people from Juarez. Juarez in Peru, day two. We are having a little break here, getting ready for our next expedition. We're going to an iceberg today. We went to the store this morning, got all our kits, making our sandwiches. And after our break, our transport will pick us up. Well rested, ready for day two. And yeah, let's get it. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Luxury. Plus, it's a much later start. Yesterday, we left the house at like 5.45 a.m. And now, we're leaving at 9 a.m. I think it's going to be a much more chill day. Yeah. Well, but hopefully just as beautiful. to the Husqvarna National Park area and you stay in Juarez or any of the towns really you're gonna spend a lot of the time just in transport to get to the hikes and get to the sites um, I mean it's still the most convenient place to stay but just keep that in mind Max and I aren't big fans of spending three hours plus each way for a three-hour activity but it is what it is. We're here, we're doing it. I'm sure the glacier will be so worth it. You know, this is National Park. Okay. It's possible uh, look at uh, Puya Raimondi. It's Puya Baby. Yeah. After 10, 20 years, Big similar. Point. Mm. Big point. Okay. Yeah. And after uh, 70, 80 years, after yeah. 90, after 100 years. 100 years. See. Si. beautiful people after four hours of driving we have finally made it it is one o'clock we got picked up at 9 a.m we are finally starting our hike we had 4858 meters so we are very high now the hike to the actual glacier we can see in the distance will take us to above 5000 meters it's not much of a hike, it's just two kilometers, is what our guide said. It's not every day you get to see a glacier in the Andes of Peru. I think it's like one of the last tropical glacier left. So it's with global warming, as you can imagine, not gonna be here forever. And I'm so glad that we decided to do this one today because even though we're still in the same national park, the scenery compared to yesterday is completely different but still just as magnificent and grand. Couldn't be more different than yesterday. So it's really cool being able to see two different sides of this 
humongous and beautiful national park. For those of you that have been around for a little while, you might recall a video we did in Ecuador at a volcano called Cotopaxi. And that day is where Jack and I went to the highest we've ever been, which was just 5,000 meters. But to be fair, we're not hiking so much of that percentage, maybe like 5%. Nevertheless, we will be at the highest point we've ever been. But if you are some of those that have been sticking around for a while and are enjoying those videos, Jacqueline and I will be attempting a 6,000 meter. If you are in full challenge, you want to tag along, if you like our videos and like us, make sure you subscribe because this video should be coming up in the next few weeks and would love if you could come along to share the struggle. Even though yesterday was way longer, I think starting at such a high altitude is so hard. This is so cool. Yesterday, when we were doing our hike, we could see all the glaciers in the distance, and now today, we're at one. Well, not only we're at the highest point ever, but I might walk on the glacier for the first time in my life. 4996. It's not our highest. So we need to go like another 10 meters to be at our highest. <laughs> I think it's about time we step foot on this glacier. Today definitely feels more like a fun exploration day rather than like a strenuous hike day, which I'm all for. It's so amazing. Let's uh, first step on the glacier. Go take the first steps. Oh, oh, I'm wearing my ice picks. Oh, this is proper ice. Whoa. Oh, for so once, you made it look so difficult. For once, you're more graceful than me. Well done. I'm the gazelle. <laughs> we're on a glacier. <laughs> I didn't ever think that we were going to come to Peru and stand on a glacier. We've played around for the last 15 minutes like kids with ice <laughs> and snow. <laughs> it's but so, so amazing. Unexpected. Yeah. I don't know, like, I didn't know you could come up and walk on it, which is awesome. That was such a cool surprise. So if you make your way to the Husqvarn, Husqvarn, I know I'm pronouncing it wrong, National Park, definitely come check it out as soon as you can. Let's go back. Alright. Graceful, well done. Much better. <laughs> better down and up. I'm hungry. I had to do that intro like three times. People kept making so much noise. And now my jaw is hurting from smiling. <laughs> I'm gonna lick the glacier, you ready? Glacier eyes. Oh, it's refreshing. <laughs> Sometimes we come places and it's really sad because we know we're probably never gonna come back. Actually, we know we're never gonna come back here again. Like that's just probably, yeah, the likelihood the like, of this is so low. This world is too big. But it's so beautiful and it makes me a little bit sad that I'm never gonna see this view again. But it makes me happy that we film our travels because it means that I'm gonna be able to watch this video forever. Mm. So it'll bring us back to this moment and how we felt and how happy we were and the effort we put in and yeah. I love that we do that. Building 
<laughs> Filming videos isn't for everyone, but like do as much as you can. Even if you just yeah. clean it on your Instagram stories, you can look back at your archives. It's a big